Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And I'm doing an unboxing today of the Kurenai Musha Red Warrior Amazing from Build Fighters. Um, this is an SD, um, or I guess like an SD in an HG world or something. I don't know. It's complicated. Kawaii, it's really yes, it's kawaii. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the Lady Kawaguchi's uh, mobile suit of which she builds um, at the end of the show. Um, in the final episode, you get to see it fight with the um, the star winning. And um, a whole bunch of awesome stuff goes on. Anyway, Kurenai Musha amazing. Um it's cool because not only is it an SD, but it's an SD with a fuck ton of gimmicks. It has a cannon. It has a couple of shields, which turn into wheels. Uh, it has a katana. Um, <laughs> it has a whole bunch of kunai. It, um, those wheels will go with the cannon and some of the other pieces to become, or the helmet, um, to become a chariot with a giant cannon on it. Um... Also, she just looks awesome. And I'm actually really, really hoping that the hair looks the way it does in the pictures. All right, let's open this up. Okay. So, okay, the hair does not look like it does in the pictures. It's painted on the box, which is a shame, because it's like gold on the box. Then we can paint it. I will paint it gold. This will happen. This is the SD I've been waiting for, basically. Also, Lady Kawaguchi is awesome. Okay, so first off, stickers. This is an SD, so it's got a shit ton of stickers because children love to put stickers on things. Sure. Um, it has gold, or silver foil stickers for the kunai and her katana. Um, this makes sense because flashy parts are typically pretty rare on the SDs. Um, and then it has some red pieces to round out some of the bigger ones. It also has eyes. Um, just like any other SD, it has usually four or more. In this case, it has four. It has normal eyes, kawaii eyes, shifty looking left eyes, shifty looking right eyes. Um, and they're adorable because she has got bright green eyes. Um... Okay, we've got a couple of these little sigils, her little, you know, pretty Kawaguchi things going on. And then we've got uh, her, well, see, turrets, I guess. I don't know. They're cute. Um, anyway, there's our sticker kit. We have feet and skirts here. This is a nice deep crimson. Also, it is more colors than your average SD because it is three, four colors, four colors. Um... We have all of these pieces. This is the chariot piece, which I guess goes on the head. Uh, head <laughs> and the, of course it does. I, you know, what are you going to do? And if you didn't see, those two reds are different colors. There's, there's the crimson and the actual red. Um, that contrast each other pretty well. Um, this is the eyepieces and the, um, I don't know what that is, probably on the back of the helmet or something, um, but this is a smoke clear color. It's actually really lovely. That is lovely. Yeah. Very different than other clears. Yes, and it's also, yeah, it's different than other clears. It's also way different than your average SD. Um, this is a really high looking or high quality looking SD. Um, here is our polycaps. These are SD style polycaps. They have these big ones that kind of look like gourds and stuff like that. Um, nothing to write home about. And then we have our yellow pieces. We have kunai. These are really cute, big kunai weapons. You have the um, katana, which looks like it was taken straight off of the Sengoku Astray, actually. Um, and then you've got shoulder pieces and stuff like that. And you've got her hair, which is lovely and long. Um, I'm kind of sad. It's on a polycap, so it'll move a little bit. I'm kind of sad it wasn't jointed. Um, that would have been a nice thing, but then it probably would have priced itself out of the SD range. Okay, and then we've got our B-Runner here, our last one here. Giant fucking cannon. Uh, wheel slash shields, helmet pieces, backpack, um, the scabbard for her katana, um, fists and all of that. So... This is an SD. It's a pretty simple build. You can't expect a lot out of that, but it's a really cool looking SD. Um, we have, this is our advertisement for, oh, next month, Hobby Japan, or no, 825, August 25th, Hobby mm. Japan. That is where we're going to get the Destinies, or the Destinies, the um, the Freedoms um, expansion kit. Yay! Don't um, worry, we'll get it. And of course, because now Bandai does this with everything, whenever they advertise a new expansion kit, they always show you what it would look like on a bear guy. <laughs> because it's important, okay? Yeah. I mean, that's the first thing anyone's going to do anyway. So. Right. Um, 
And then we have a weird picture of China Kuska in a bear guy costume. Um, but there we go. So that's an advertisement. Now we got our box here. Or our box, I'm sorry. Our instructions. I'm, I'm, it's hot here. You have no idea. Japan is absurdly hot right now. Um, all right. So Lady Kawaguchi in her awesome I have only one leg on my pants outfit here. Um, <laughs> Somebody stole one of her pant legs, and that's why she fights Gundam Battle. Symmetry stinks. <laughs> Symmetry is for the weak. Okay, so um, what we have here. Lovely. Like, the painted build of this that's in these pictures is just really, really gorgeous. It makes me want to do painting on it. Might have to get a second one. Um, so anyway, it is a Musha type SD Gundam blended with a Red Warrior, um, which is a perfect Gundam variant. And it is what it is. Now, our, our advice bit from Lady Kawaguchi here is basically it's panel lining with markers, not with um, panel line uh, pens. And it is um, showing you how to paint and shade the hair. Oh, kawaii. Yeah, that's actually a really cool trick. I'm using a Q-tip um, after you go over with the marker in order to buff out the shade. So that's pretty. I might actually do that just, um, you know, Try out of principle. All right, and then we have our instructions. Pretty simple stuff here. This is an SD kit. It'll probably take about 10, 15 minutes to put together. Um, but that's kind of, you know, the point. So there is our Kuranai Musha Red Warrior Amazing. And um, I'm gonna probably, I'm probably gonna build this today. I'm really excited for it. So cute. Yeah, it is, it is adorable. Um, I'll throw it together and we'll do a review of it. And until then, matane everyone. Matane.